I'm Kurigo and this is Wasteland 3. Welcome back though. We are right here at the bazaar and we just did help out uh, Piskitelli right over here with her gun problem, Some right? Machine gun or assault rifle. I can't decide. Assault rifle. Right. Stories no about question. the killer clown. They say he eats kids. Yeah. Maybe he does, right, you know. Well, who are these beauties in my theater? Come, come to Adalon. Oh, what is going on here? man that can rock your world. All right, so which one of you lovely chickies would love to go a few rounds with this stud muffin? What is wrong with these people, huh? <laughs> let's see. Let's talk to uh, Adalon. What shows great stories, unbelievable ending. Really now, how huh? really? This woman in shocking purple hair and ridiculously voluptuous form makes her stand out from the average wastelander. She looks like she dropped in from a different time and place. Hey there, Eidolon. You look better every time I see you. Oh, How's Quan. Your business? Ah, Marshal Quan. As charming as ever. And you brought your most beautiful friends to Adelon's Chick Slicks Theater, I see. Aren't you all a sight for sore eyes, honey lips? Hmm, you show movies here. You're Adelon. <laughs> That's me, theater manager and connoisseur of smut. And all yours for the having, sweetheart. Ah, sugar plums. Of all Look at this dude with his carpet, and by the, the way. Towns in all the world. I'm so happy you walked into mine. You look like strapping, helpful hunks. Wouldn't you love to help out our little Adelon? Oh, that depends, though. What can we do to help? Oh, my heroes. So here's the rub. The Chicks Flicks Theater shows only the finest, most exclusive performances. But we are... running low on material. Okay. I'd ask if you were volunteering to be my next star. But we all know I couldn't afford your gorgeous asses. I suppose the next best thing would be getting me some fresh material. Hmm... So we are going to be pimps, apparently, huh? Where would we get fresh material? I know where to find some old movie reels. We've got good tech in here. So between some creative editing and a little bit of improvisation, I can produce our next masterpiece. Hmm. We're in. Where do we find these movie reels? So it's easy as a slice of apple pie. The Monster Army used to live in a pre-war luxury bunker. Apparently, their monster outfits were inspired by the movies they watched in there. The bunker has been abandoned for years and years, so it should be simple. And hey, I know any resistance you meet won't be a problem for such beautiful and powerful people. Good luck out there, sweeties. Thank you, darling. Well, the thing, though, is, right, you know, we really don't... Uh... Yeah, we want to, to bury some weapons, although we do, like, two, three times the damage then, right? I did check it out a little bit. But... We have to be very smart with our money, right? I think we are going to re sculpt one of our members because the skills are too much overlapping with other ones, right? It's too spread out. Uh, can we ask you some questions? Anytime, gorgeous. Hmm, what can you tell us about the bazaar? The bazaar? Hmm, well, you can get some good eats here. If you like pork. Flap's a bit of a softy, but he knows the value of money. That'll keep the gears greased. Not to mention my performers. <laughs> hmm, uh, can we talk about your performers, huh? Yeah. They're fantastic, gorgeous people, talented, double jointed, incredibly flexible, incredibly. Trust me, I sampled each of them myself. Oh my. Well, and um, what the. Uh, yeah, what's this operation you run? Yeah, I kind of wonder is it just a theater show? Do they do some extras or is it just movie theater things for adults? 
This is Chicks Flicks, where nothing is sacred and everything's for adaptation. We take the fantasies of pre-war films by adding some missing venereal elements. The little extra sexy sauce leaves our customers extra satisfied. Well, I'm kind of disappointed, though, by the show in the background, I have to admit. Let's talk about something else. Yes, please. Let's keep talking, gorgeous. Oh, my God. Goodbye. Come back again soon. She's a bit Those nauseating, right, if she talks like that? Beautiful to stay gone. Let's see. Monster Boomer, Blaster, Patron, Long John. And Alfredo Garcia, we saw Pedro, by the way, Long John is a reference also to uh, Long John from the border crossing between... I just want you to know what you yeah. see right here is yours for the taking. That voice, I don't know, it sounds so familiar for some reason. Anyways, between the New California and the Nevada wasteland, right, in, um, what is it called? Um, in way, uh, Fallout, not Wasteland, Fallout, New Vegas, and I'm talking about the NPC Cassidy, by the way. Talk to our hot noodles. Hot noodles, noodles are hot. All right, let's talk to the big boy here. The man before you is moving so fast he's nearly a blur as he dances from pot to pot on his stove, steering one, tasting another. As you approach, he stops his cooking to turn his undivided attention to My you. Friends. You saw that explosion too? Horrible! Such a waste of good pork. And human life, of course. But don't worry, Masato is here to offer aid and succor. Have you seen anything this delicious? He holds a steaming hot bowl in front of you, filled to the brim with some kind of noodles. That looks amazing, may we? Uh, no thank you. Indeed, we don't know what you are eating here. You're missing out, my friend. But my shop is always open to you. I sell a variety of goods you may find useful. All right. As he puts the ball away, he gives it a long forlorn look. These noodles are my own creation, but they are only a pale imitation of the real thing. That greatest of pre-war delicacies. Instant ramen noodles. Hopefully, one day I will perfect my recipe to recreate them. But enough of that. How may I be of service? My favorite trademark of that is actually cup noodles. Hmm, so we're looking for instant ramen noodles? Ah, you picked up on my subtle hints. Years ago, a friend in Colorado Springs gave me a package of instant ramen noodles that he had found in the Warrens underneath the bazaar. The experience changed my life forever, and I moved here in hopes of finding more. Mm, the cook starts to fidget, the spear pain, uh, yeah, painting his face as he loses his usual bouillant composure. The warrens aren't safe. I can't venture down there. But you must understand. It is as if my body is made of ramen. If you go down in the warrens, please keep your eyes open for this rare delicacy. Alright, and he watches a lot of anime, so he's particularly Japanese too, right? We're looking for a caravan master. Peridolia Jones is the only caravan master here. But as luck would have it, he's also one of our best. He's right over there. Masato indicates a man in a cowboy outfit standing near the fountain edge. Ranger Hitsuki could use a chef like you. Oh, how interesting. You mean a permanent position? A full kitchen of my own? My, my friends, that is quite the offer you're making me. You have my interest for sure. But as I explained to you, I'm here for a reason. Bring me the ramen noodles and I'll gladly join you at your HQ. Anything you can tell us about the bizarre residents? There have been a lot of troubles of late. People disappearing, showing up dead. And now this exploding pig. Can you believe that? Yeah. I've heard of you guys. I know you can help. May I suggest you talk to the guy in charge, Flab? Y you can find him upstairs. Flab the inhaler, he means. Um, all right. And can we see your wares now? Goodbye. Come back soon. There he goes, though. This is the big boy himself. I don't like his legs. I don't like his legs. I think he's a sin, though. And look at that mask. 
Wait a minute. He looks like the president, though. What? Yeah, the old president, it is. As you approach this man's eyes, <laughs> flit over every member of your team, as if assessing whether or not you are a direct threat. He relaxes after a moment and touches the brim of his head with a slight nod. Howdy, ma'am. He nods at Lucia. Howdy. Always good to see a Wesson. He turns to you, nodding again. We could use your help. There's a group of refugees topside who needs transport to Colorado Springs. I see. Not my usual line of business, but I don't see why not. My normal rates would apply for a one-way transport. Hmm. Kiss ass. Bada six, you and I both know it won't cost you anything just to have them ride along. Think of it as a PR for your caravan. I suppose you have a point there. Peridolia Jones, friend to the people. All right, I'll make sure they're part of my next caravan run to Colorado Springs. I'll send people to check up on them now. All right. Anything you can tell us about Colorado? Thanks to the Patriarch, this stretch of land from Denver in the north to Steeltown in the south is pretty safe to travel. You'll find richer opportunities the further you venture out, but it'll also come with more risks. I could tell you more, but truth be told, the only way to know the land is to travel it. You look well-equipped and competent. Just head out and see what you can learn. I see. Do you have anything for sale, big boy? Just my services as a caravan master. I organize caravans to get people, goods, and livestock from one place to another. But I don't sell goods myself. These lands near Colorado Springs are pretty safe. But still lots of people need help getting around. Especially if you want to range further than that. Hmm, goodbye. Alone. All right, nice uh, little thing though uh, went on there, right, didn't it? Ooh, $300 more in the wallet. Up, All right, let's I'll go right over here. Whoppa. Mm -hmm. Long John, for all that is of uh, it might be swaddled in dirty, mismatching fabric, this figure is clearly anything but human. At your impose, it straightens with a creak of rusted gears and presses a palm to the Nixon mask over its face. Nixon, I knew it. As I live and eat cherry pie. More of my fellow humans in the bazaar. You make yourself welcome now, you hear? A ticking time bomb, this guy is. He, he scratches behind his mask. Play of a, what's mask? Bless a gear. His shirt shifts to reveal a coil device on his chest. An impressive looking piece for a uh, piece of fellow tech. humans? Go on, play along though. Tell us about yourself, huh? Well, gosh, and apple pies, you put me in a spot. Let's see. My name is Long John, and Johnson. I'm old as dirt. I've traveled a little, but nowhere interesting. Now I'm here in the bazaar, just to see what life has to offer. Make friends. Wasn't something that I got to do when I was younger, what with my job and all. There was no time to make friends, none at all. But I'm making up for it. I know everyone in the bazaar, and they know me. Hmm, and tell us about your travels, then. I'll tell you youngins what I can. Despite the fact I'm old as the mountains, figuratively speaking, that is. Humans rarely live past 70, and I'm just about ready to expire. <laughs> I don't know everything, you hear? Even though I walked all the way from Denver to Steel Town and back again. Do you have any stories about Colorado Springs? Colorado Springs? That's an all right place. A little uptight, but that's what you get from having all of the hundred families there. I like the scientists and engineers, though. Real clever kids. Have you been to the plains? No. -uh place like that ain't fit for the lonely traveler well you might be all right if you do decide to go in that direction i've heard that it's gotten real dangerous and what can you tell us about steel town though steel town that place is an industrial nightmare raging fires all around melts right through this st 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 skin Gives me the shivers, you hear? Mmm, really now, huh? Interesting. 
Tell us about Denver. Let's talk about something else. You kids these days and your limited attention spans. What can you tell us about the people in Ibiza? So why are you trying to pretend you're not a synth? Me? A synth? Aren't you adorable? I'm meat and muscle. Just like you, Rangers. Shucks. I even have dreams all the time. Technicolor dreams about flying and standing naked in front of people I don't quite know. Sins don't do that. Interesting. We still think you're a synth. I'm not a synth. Why, just last night I had the most human dream. I was back in high school. There was a trigonometry test. I sat down confident and brash, only to realize I completely forgot to study. High school is gone for ages though, huh? Also, enjoy toasted eggs in the morning. A very human thing. Interesting. You know everyone can tell that's a mask, right? Look, we can see the strings. Oh, you kids and your humor. If the folk in the bazaar really thought I was a synth, would they have tried to decommission me? Not that I'm afraid of such things. Being the perfectly ordinary human male that I am. <laughs> well, you got All a long right, nose, that is, though. Fine. I am a synth. But you can't tell anyone. But everyone in the bazaar already knows. Why are you so afraid? Decommissioning you sounds like a good idea. We fucking hate sins. We really do though, huh? You only cause trouble for humanity. But everyone in the bazaar already knows. Do they? Well, I'm not sure I believe that. If they knew, wouldn't they have melted me down to scrap bar now? People don't like sins, far as I've seen. That's because sins kill humans. You're clever ones. And bully to you for figuring out who I am. But let's not talk about it again, okay? The topic puts me on edge. Mm, goodbye. So soon? I suppose even good things gotta end sometime. You be safe now, you hear? And come back to see old Long John when you can. Best of luck to you. All right, now let's, All right, let's decommission this big boy. If that's how you feel. I don't think we have more to talk about. Indeed. Despite his graciousness, Long John's clearly unsettled. Oh, you again. Yeah. Ordinary, oh, man. I love nothing more than well, we have to talk to someone, right? To uh, get rid of him. Seem to be hey, pals. Good ben day. is the name. If you need a drink, you've come to the right place. If you got questions, well, I suppose that's okay, too. All right. Did you see that pig explode? Between you and me... I've been partaking in some taste tests during my shift, so everything is a little blurry at the moment. I did hear a loud boom, but I figured it was just a thunderstorm. Well, I mean, you know, uh, what type of taste test do you do? Ah, alcohol, of course, duh. All right, uh, what can you tell us about this place? Not much. I'm pretty new. Just started a week ago. Rumor has it the old bartender mysteriously vanished into thin air. Anyway, this place is something for everyone. Guns, armor, food, meds, entertainment, and most importantly, booze. If you're here to work for Flab, then he might be able to tell you more. One thing's for sure. There's something weird going on here. Really, huh? And what can you tell us about Flab the Inhaler? Flab the Inhaler is the man who is large and in charge of the bazaar. And I ain't kidding you when I say large. From what I've seen, he's always in his office, just up the stairs. <laughs> That's because he cannot uh, leave the room, huh? All right, then what did you mean by something weird? Ah, uh, I don't know. I suppose everyone's on edge, you know? They're all putting on brave faces like things are normal, but I can tell something is wrong. Just don't know quite what. Hmm, I see. Uh, I'll have a Only drink. the finest drinks on Earth. Sure. And nothing there that we want. Well, and sneak squeezing is the one we do need. Only one. Uh, not zero. One. That's how we do it. Because of one crafting recipe. And Get anybody Dr. here? Dr. Yes, okay. Cold Dr. Cold. Cold. Randy Gat. Maybe we should talk to Randy Gat over here for a second. After all, special named NPC. This young red-headed man is decked out with tools, ready for work. He turns to you, not pausing his fervent chewing. Hey, strangers. I don't suppose you're here to help with the troubles down below. If you are, talk to Flab. But if you want to talk cars, I'm your guy. 
Randy's the name, local master mechanic. Really, a mechanic? Huh? Cool. Mm, what can you tell us about the troubles in the bazaar? Nothing much, really. Something's been prowling the Warrens, killing anyone who goes down there. Some big beastie, yeah. Uh, the suicide pig's got something to do with it, but I don't know what. Sorry, not much help, I know. I don't think a big beast straps dynamite on a pig, you know? Just saying. You like working here. Not particularly. It's boring work. I only get pulled in if something breaks that a tender can't fix, so I spend most of my time just waiting here. Like I'm doing now. But beggars can't be choosers. Well, won't you be interested in a job as a mechanic at Ranger HQ? No offense, but you're a gamble in a hard luck casino. Don't like working in the bazaar, but it's constant money, and I need that right now. See? Some months ago, my dad wrote me that he thought he'd seen folks skulking around our homestead. I dismissed it. Our place has always been isolated and safe. Stupid. Turns out it was a small band of one of them crazy planes gangs. They sent me a letter. My parents are dead. And they're holding my kid brother and sister hostage. I, I ain't even close to having enough money to pay the ransom. Even if I did, I suspect they'd just kill us all after I pay. So what's a guy to do? We could uh, pay the kidnappers for you. We could go get your family. You mean get them, get them? Hmm. I don't normally condone violence, but if it's what it takes. Let me show you where to find our old homestead. I'll meet you there. You help out the Get family, and I'll work for you. No doubt about it. The Get family? Somehow that name is kind of known to me. See there. It don't take too long, okay? Oh, maybe not we will. The bazaar's not perfectly safe, but, uh, well, you know, just talk to Flab. All right. We will definitely talk to Flab. He's our patron. Why, hello. Name's Hirsch. Lev Hirsch. But you can just call me Dr. Cold Cut. What do you need? Hmm, why is your name called Kutz? You know, I used to be the veterinarian slash butcher here back in the day. Learned all Excuse about how the body me? worked by carving up meat. Uh, animal meat, uh, of course. Uh, when Doc Kessler passed, well, I uh, inherited the position. Well, that's kind of weird though, huh? Uh, can you tell us about a bit about it? Uh, do you sell any medical yeah. supplies? We don't need any of that right now. Talk to our boss. Get your protective gear. Paris Hitler? Hey. Heard something go pump in the night. Days. Wonder if that I can get. Scary. Wonder if. Wonder. Hmm. Wonder if Talbot's got. Oh, hmm, broken slicer dice. Wait a minute. That's a big boy, huh, Fershin? Let's talk to a uh, Corex. Oh wow. Are you Rangers? I haven't seen any of you guys since I left. Uh, I mean, in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen any Rangers in a while. Oh, strange. Are you here to fight the monsters under the bazaar? That would be awesome. Kurix, since when uh, did you I'm not see Quirks, any ranges? By the way, this is my cool museum of uh, coolness. Would you like a tour? Sure, give us a tour. Really? Uh, okay, this way. Uh, okay, I'll start. Yeah. Welcome Let's listen to for Quarex's Cabinet of Curiosities, a collection of the rarest of the. Well, it's toys and games mostly, and some mementos, but they're all really cool, I promise. All right, that come on. That belonged to Mr. Cynical from Angel Oracle out in LA. I knew a it. game aficionado. He lived his life trying to help the little guy, defending them against bullies and end-level bosses. In the end, though, a boss got him, and, and well, he didn't make it. I keep his hat around to remind me to be honest and decent like he was. He's a Mannerite, isn't he? Or an uh, Jacobson. This was the best video game ever! Wasteland 4! You what? can choose what color you want the screen to be, red or green. Wow, that's cool, man. This is the most sought-after gaming accessory ever made. The legendary Mighty Mitt. Yeah, I from Nintendo. The Mighty Mitt. It's so bad. It really is bad, though. This is a genuine megascope. The most advanced optical aiming device of its day. A priceless artifact. Shame somebody stuck it on that silly old ray gun, but I'm not going to try to take it off. I might break it. Yeah, also from Nintendo, the scope that this is. This is a Tarjan the Tenebrous machine. It can tell your fortune. 
But you get a premium fortune if you have some special tokens. Wish I had some. We have one. This throne was once the most coveted object in the wasteland. The rule was whoever sat on it was the king. King of what exactly? I don't know. I also don't know who made that rule. Isn't that from Gorknak the Barbarian? Uh, no, 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 not Gorknak. This um, is a Conan. slicer dicer, the scariest robot ever. It slices, it dices, it even makes julienne fries. Whatever those are, if this thing was working, we'd all be dead by now. Yeah, probably. By the way, this one, you can actually burn Fallout 76. These huh? are the most classic of classic arcade games. Avenue Brawlers, Catboy, and Star Intruder. This is a surfboard. I don't know what surf is and what boards have to do with it, but this looks well loved. It has property of MF on it. I hope that doesn't mean what I think it does. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Very funny, big boy. Oh, wow, look at that. We even got a uh, trophy there. What is this? Oh, the Dream Vacuum. We got uh, the Korok tape, and we got a little storage unit, 105 key. Made it past Telluride today. Found a guy there who sold me some rat jerky. There's a caravan heading for Boulder, and I'm going to try to tag along. Colorado's Cultural reality. cold and kind of scary, but there's treasure here, too. That guy with the rat jerky... He had like six or seven 3DO cartridges just lying around a shack. When I asked him how much for the set, he looked at me like I was crazy. Practically gave them away. You know what? Leaving Arizona might be the best thing that ever happened to me. Interesting. Tryon, here we go, big boy. Inside his glass confinement, Tryon bears his rictus grin to the world. An eye cracked at the other, troubling like a flesh wound. There is a, a, a conspicuous red button beside it. Are the words press here to receive fortune? Insert Tarion token. Tarion doesn't move, but something about him feels more alive. You feel a tingle on the back of your neck as a note emerges from the slot below his torso. Inscribed with a calligraphic lettering. Cunning of Tarion. Interesting, be as wise as Solomon, and you'll have half a baby to show for it. What? Man, we have a full baby then, right? Well, let's see, what do we have here? The Cutting of Tarion. Experience bonus plus 25%. And that's a lot of seconds remaining, though. The Silver Tarion's mad uh, cunning. Let's you see beyond your material uh, circumstances. Cool. We have a device right here. The VR device is a bulky, cumbersome uh, conglomeration of thick wires and dented shapes. Put on the headset. The helmet does fit quite right. It slopes and slouches across your face, putting this uh, alignment of your nose at risk. Te <coughs> Text starts scrolling across the darkness, bending your eyes. Select entrance. Hmm, hiking trail. The camera sweeps around and behind the security checkpoint, there it, there it moves up along an unconscious trail, the path nearly hidden in snow. As you move across it, the trail starts to waver. Under your feet, the signpost floats up to the tech surface, it reads error. Alright. The camera moves a long road towards military checkpoint. Camouflage figures stand with their backs to you. They turn to you, but their faces are cloaked in shadows. Their forms dissolve into polygons before the ward rebooting flashes twice. Select entrance. The display stutters and then moves the sluggerish uh, slugger at first. The camera pans across a large entrance carved into a mountainside. The tunnel is blackened in complete darkness. After a few moments, the feet cuts. Oh my, my, my. Select command. The camera blinks into a room filled with a high-tech equipment. Every single screen reads a strange game in blinking letters. Figures moves in the shadows, turning towards you. One by one, the screens change to error, error. You are an unauthorized user. An alarm blares and the feed cuts out. Huh, read the error log. Dear user, please be informed this VR headset is designed to be used only by the Shenyan Mountain Complex. Using outside of Siyan Mountain Complex will activate security measures 
that may show up as content glitches. Okay, interesting. Take headset off. You remove the helmet and blink against the glare of the walls. Walk away. Oh my. That, that, okay. The music though, interesting. A lovely rendered scene of a Scottish Highlands flickering 16 pixelated colors on the screen of a disc computer are polygrammers uh, chorus of beeps form into a Gaelic tune. As you read the title of the game, The Bard's Tale 4, Burrows Deep. Nice! Play the damn game. You encounter fiendish cultists, solve devious puzzles, and compose magical songs, but one challenge defeats you. The game ends with an epithet. You've been killed by 99 berserkers. Oh my god, yeah, these stack hardcore. <laughs> Correct? Hi, Rangers. Good to see you again. Yeah. Uh, how'd we like a tour? Let's talk. Sure. Your name is Corex. Didn't you live in the top of Kent in Arizona? Indeed. You must be thinking about someone else. Quarex is a more common name than you might think, you know. Anyway, not me. Nope. Absolutely you, big boy. Perception 5, you're sweating a lot, Corex. Oh, well, haven't you heard? Scientists say sweating is a sign of truthfulness. I, uh, okay. Fine, I'm Quarex from Rail Nomads. Yeah. Happy now? Yes, I'm a way better setup right now, huh? Kind of cool you guys have heard of me. Nobody knows about me. Um, why did you come to Colorado? Well, basically, everything went downhill after Ranger Team Echo found that 3DO for me. Some shady guys started coming around asking me to sell it to them. And when I said no, well, they didn't like that at all. Really? I was going to call the Rangers since you'd all been so nice to me, but then Ranger Citadel blew up, so I left. Do you still have the CDO of a uh, 3DO here? Had to leave all my cool stuff behind. Oh no. Even the 3DO. But there's lots of cool stuff around here too, and I've been finding it. And that's how I started my museum. Oh, that is a shame, man. If you were on the run from shady characters, why did you change your name? Oh, I did. I just always forgot to say it. I'm supposed to say my name's Dave, but yeah. All right. What can you tell us about the bazaar? It's great. There's so much cool stuff at all the merchant stalls. I add to my collection all the time. Uh, some spooky stuff has been happening lately, though. Monsters are coming up from the tunnels at night to snatch people. It's like Chud in real life. <laughs> okay, then. Bye, Rangers. Lovely. Thanks for visiting me. You're welcome, big dude. You're welcome. Yeah, that's a little bit weird looking, huh? All right. Gwyn. Gwyn Talabot. A, a reek of tobacco and tannin surrounds the wizened, dark-skinned woman. Without breaking eye contact, she swaps her chewing down cigarette, stubs for a fresh one, and lights it before she speaks. Ah, you look like tough sorts. Patriarch sent you. Whoever you are, we can certainly use your help. Some kind of beastie down in the Warrens or something. Talk to Flab up the stairs. Mmm, you're Talbot. Rather than answer, she takes a long drag of her cigarette. Your question does not seem to have impressed her. What do you sell? Kind of depends on who's buying. For you? Mm, leather goods, protective gear, armor. Up to you if you want to deflect stabbings or look like a badass. Either way, I have you covered. Well, that sounds nice, though. Can we see your wares, then? That's why I'm here. All right. Now, oh, oh, tank helmet, man. This is some nice stuff, right? You know, it does need six strength, though, sadly. How much? Nobody has six strength, huh? Nobody. Nobody. Do. We can even tank it out, right? You know, with some nice uh, mods and everything. But yeah, that's some interesting stuff, though. Very interesting. I like it quite a bit. Trooper helmet. Armor five? Wait a minute. All right. These are pretty good, though, I have to say, right? That's 6, that's 10, and that is 15 on its own without any mods installed. I kind of feel like I should buy it, though, but we do need the money, too, right? So, yeah, later on, later on, later on. I could kick some serious ass with these. Nah, not really, though. You can handle kicking serious ass, though, for a bit. Monster Army... 
We will speak with Flab. Don't you worry, Flab the in inhaler. Not that the bazaar's not perfectly safe, but, uh, well, you know, just talk to Flab. I will, I will. Let's see, though. Huh? F5 first. Uh, uh, stay away from that I safe, you speak to Flab. Oh, boy. Let's talk to this girl, too. Talk to our boss if you're here to help. Oh, we are. Flab the inhaler. What a big boy. Children of the desert. But wonderful music they make. What do you want of Jakob the Magnificent? The splendid, wonderful. The corpulent man standing before you spits out the set of fake Dracula teeth and wipes his mouth. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's never mind with the acts, shall we? Rangers, I am so sorry you had to witness that horrible exploding pig. Truth is, you do not find us at the best of times. Yeah, by the way, very cute carpet man. And uh, what is with the Dracula act? Do not judge harshly, my friends. We hold on to our rituals of the past to try to remember yeah. our own lost strength. It may strike you as pathetic, but it gives us much needed comfort. I see, and how can you be so calm about exploding pigs? I am calm because I must be, friend. So is the burden of leadership. But you are right. This place is under assault. Very true, though. I understand his position. If he panics, yeah, you know, chaos, power struggles, everything. Something, someone, some horrible unknown thing is roaming the warrens below us. People have been disappearing. Not to mention the pigs loaded with explosives running amok. You are the Patriarch's Rangers, yes? If he trusts you, so can I. Nothing we've done has helped, so your arrival could not be more fortuitous. We need your help to combat this threat. Sure thing, 666 US dollars, huh? Because the other monster army and the drill sergeant's phrase book. Probably for hard ass. I want both of them. About a six unknown horrors require some hazard pay. Upfront hazard pay. Wonderful. <laughs> I can't fully trust a person unless they're honest. And money is the most honest of all. Excuse me? Of course, of course, here is some extra upfront pay. With more due when you return. Good luck. He is very desperate, isn't he? When we were outside, we ran into raiders dressed as clowns. Could that be related to these attacks? Raiders dressed as clowns? I see everything makes sense now. The makeup on the pigs, the horrible deaths. That explains who is behind these attacks. Yeah, and by the way, secure your parameters, right? You know, don't just hide on the ground. What are you talking about? You know these clowns. In a manner of speaking, yes. Los Payasos are one of the wild gangs that escaped the Patriarch's control. Disorganized, uncontrollable, but dangerous. If there is something you care about, their joy is to watch that thing burn. If it is Los Payasos down there, we truly need your help. They would not hesitate to kill every living thing in my home in the most unspeakable ways we won't be safe until every last payaso is dead well we'd like to know more about you flash the inhaler you ask too much of me my friends what is a leader but a servant of the community my story is the bizarre story i am nothing but the receptacle of its wishes. Well, you know, I, I start to see a pattern over here, right? The Patriarch is too arrogant and narcissistic. 
this guy is too blind as a leader right you know and probably the the children of the patriarch and probably some other communities too there are a lot of faults though like like a couple of certain sins in a certain way uh we'd like to know more about how you ended up in charge of the bizarre <laughs> where do i start once i was a humble lieutenant in the monster army then the patriarch came to the bazaar. He executed my predecessor, and everyone else was too stupid to understand that this is the new world order. When he came to me, I did not hesitate. I swore myself to his service marrow and muscle and the patriarch in his infinite grace gave me command of the bazaar and all of its lives all right this probably isn't very sensitive to ask but have you any thoughts on the nickname of yours i appreciate the delicacy your compassion will be remembered but no i've no thoughts on the nickname they have given to me and no cause to think about it after all flab describes me well does it not i don't I, i'm not so sure about that though because it just looks like you have one massive good not a couple of flabs though uh no not at all mm, i suppose i cannot blame you you stand in my house, I guess, outmanned, outgunned, and your loved ones a thousand miles away. Of course you choose the easiest answer. It's only human. But I cannot say I'm not disappointed. Oh, big boy, you can be disappointed, though. I just explained why. Okay, those titties maybe of him, right, you know? And the truth is that I see this fat as proof of my station in life. Here, in these wastelands, how many oh. have the opportunity to eat and flourish as I have? Probably the sides. Probably, right? Uh, we have other questions. And I would be a bad host if I did not provide you with answers. All right. Can you tell us about... No, we'll be back. Be All right. Be I mean, you know, we don't really care about his looks or whatever, though. But, uh, I mean, uh, he's that fat, you know, like his meat sack. Doesn't have any faults, right, you know? <clears throat> Oh, maybe I'm confusing faults with flaps. Maybe. So yeah, by that, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys later. And don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.